or one shepherd rifle squad. And this semester, you're going to be learning about both tactics. All right, later on in the day, we're going to go over area defense. Which, in the above definition, says, or to repel that enemy's assault by fire in close combat. All right, but now we're going to discuss the first part of the definition, and that's to locate, close with, and destroy the enemy by fire and maneuver. All right, that's what we came out here to learn how to do, right? All right. Now, before I go on, I want to let you know where I got my information from. First, Green Rifle Squad 3 Tac 11. 3 TAC 11 TAC 3 for Scouting Patrolling Marine Corps. And I'm sure you guys know what this book is, correct? Yep. All right, Paintball and Airsoft by some guy I met once. <laughs> All right, now, according to the Marine Corps Manual 3 TAC 11, the purpose of offensive combat is to destroy the enemy or his will to live. All right, to destroy the enemy, his will to live and fight. Now, me personally, I prefer to destroy the enemy, but his will to fight is also effective. All right? That's what I like to do. Why? What we want to do, right? We get them off the battlefield. Now today, we'll be covering the delivered attack. All right? Now, in paintball airsoft batter tactics by this guy named Dr. Larson, gives us a great analogy in talking about the strength of the enemy's defense. He compares it to an egg. All right, an egg. Everybody imagine if you had an egg. Good, easy analogy. Now he asks, if you hold that egg in your hand and you squeeze it, can you break it? No. no. There may be one or two of you out there that can. He, man, got that good grip strength. All right, but normally, no. All right, eggs are super, super strong. Now they can withstand hundreds, if not thousands of times of their weight on all sides. That is just like a well-prepared defensive position. How many of you out here already sat in the defense? All right, so we all have some experience in the defense. How many of you not? That's all right, you're going to get some this time. All right, you're going to learn. You're going to sit in it. But first, we're going to turn, learn how to defeat it. Now, if the defensive position is done right, it should have a well-planned defense on all sides with overlapping fields of fire. Somebody tell me what overlapping fields of fire are? <clears throat> Go ahead. Uh, means that you have at least uh, two elements able to uh, exert fire on a given location. That's right. That's right. Very good. All right. I've seen some of y'all doing this. All right. So that your fire is going into the other uh, hole or position's fire too. More firepower, more rounds, more killing. Correct? Correct. Hoorah. Correct. All right. So. Now, so if the, well, the defense is well planned, the number of troops you would need to defeat this defensive position would need to be at least three to one in our favor. And even then, if the enemy has crew served weapons, that could cut those numbers down. Now, if you remember that movie, Save It, Private Ryan, how many of y'all seen that? Uh, yeah, probably almost all of you. It showcased the horrors of attacking a well defended position with crew served weapons, correct? Yes, sir. Just mm -hmm. charging up, machine guns coming down on you. As the Allies stormed the beaches and the Axis held a huge number of troops at bay, it wasn't until the troops did what that got them moving through that breach. Anybody remember the scene in the movie? Yeah, They're attacking the beach. That's right. They got those Bangalore torpedoes right, and they blew a, a hole in the wire. Correct? Yeah. Correct. That's what we're going to talk about today. All right. That's why I wrote that. That's right. Demo charge, they blew a hole in the wire, carding, uh, creating a gap. And then they exploited that gap. All right? They had them at bay with those machine guns. They couldn't go anywhere. They started to get stagnant. That's when they brought up those demo teams, blew a hole in that wire, and were able to move forward. All right? And that's what we're going to go over today. But how do you think they knew to go to that specific point in the defense? Because help us figure out where there's a weak point in the defense. Somebody give me a... Somebody just say it, Recon. Recon, recon, recon. recon. More intelligence. All right. And for this, that is what is key. All right. Knowing your enemy. 
Now, recon can be from several different areas. You can have it from troops on the ground, and in today's battle space, you probably can get a lot of it from where? The air. The air. The air. All right. All that is good knowledge. But with all recon, things can change, right? All right, recon is a very, very important part of the deliberate attack. Without adequate intel, you should never conduct a deliberate attack. All right? Now, you can still attack the enemy, but if you don't have great intel, we would do a movement to contact. All right, a movement to contact. Some of y'all uh, warriors were with us last semester. That's what we went over, right? Movement to contact. All right? Building, building steps in the curriculum. All right? Now, earlier we talked about the primary reasons for an offensive operation, which was to destroy the enemy or his will to live. This requires mass, mobility, and the element of surprise. <clears throat> All right? We don't want to let them know we're coming. Right? We want to sneak up on them. Right? They're all out there ditty bopping in them. Boom. All right? Massive combat power. That's either your troop, weapons, and fire. It's a luxury that the unit in the defense does not have. Remember, the defense must distribute its power over the entire area that it wants to defend. All right? So they got yahoos and holes spread across their whole defensive front. All right? They may have one guy in each hole, two guys in each hole, ever, but whatever. It's still spread out over a large area. All right? Now, that can... Uh, remember that the defense must distribute it over the entire area if it wants to defend. They can move guys from hole to hole, but in doing so, that makes these areas weak and vulnerable. Because the attacking force is more mobile, it can mass its forces against the enemy spreading out defense. Spreading, spread out defense. This is the reason why you don't need to overpower or outman the defense. All right, we're not going to attack the entire front of that defense. All right, we're going to try to pick a spot and exploit that gap. All right, have more men through that small area in the defense to start to get through and overwhelm. Good to go? Yes? No? Yes. Maybe so? Yeah. Ready to go. All right, make sure you guys are drinking some water. All right, it's going to be hot. Can't stress that enough. Thank <laughs> you.